cool melon soup, as in chilled. Of course, the key to it is to have a very ripe melon. The melon juice that surrounds the seed pocket is remarkably high in natural fruit pectin. So we'll take advantage of the natural thickening properties. So I'm going to soften the onions, but no color. Add that melon juice with the pectin. I'm going to add a paper lid, sometimes referred to as a cartouche. A paper lid still allows it to reduce, but kind of slows it down to a much more measured pace. While the onions are softening, I'm going to go back to the melons. We'll do some melon balls. I season these with salt and a couple of drops of aged sherry vinegar. And now for the soup, I'm going to cut the melon up into chunks. You can see the onions are really, really soft now. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna add the rest of the melons and put the lid back on. And that'll form the basis of the soup. The final part of this dish is tofu. This is silken tofu. I'm gonna pass it through this tammy. I season this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of white soy sauce, almond oil, pretty much there. When you look at the pieces, you can see how they're soft, and I bet even some of these larger pieces are still raw on the inside, which is perfectly okay. And you can see with what started out as an orange melon, it's now more of a chartreuse. And now we're gonna chill it down on this bed of ice. It looks really rich and creamy. Just the seasoning, salt, and a little bit more of the white soy sauce. We're now ready to plate. It's a great first course in the summertime. Great at lunch. There you go. We have a cool melon soup confit with silken tofu and toasted almonds. Perfect for a summer lunch.